Okay, Anna, I am going to demonstrate a few things that I want you to practice this week. The first one is remembering to get your thumb to slide down and to stop where you feel that bump. Don't keep your thumb too much on the outside here and not too much inside through the hole, but just cling to that bump and then keep that pinky away from the end like that. You want to, we were talking about the third finger touching the metal bit, right? First finger wraps around and you're going to hold the bow with your thumb and third finger here. You can practice the elbow swinging up instead of like just low like that. And then try it on D. <laughs> begin the stroke by feeling that and then feeling that but then don't drop your elbow too low so just watch to see how much it drops a little bit on the up bow okay for a string you have to think of reaching out that way a lot D scale, one octave with four staccatos. And the only thing I really want you to worry about, not worry, focus on, is this elbow swing. one was the three and four, so plucking, funneling. Letting the thumb be really loose so it can move wherever it needs to. Generally the thumb's going to stay more on this side when your hand is on the lower strings, and then it'll come more under when your hand is on the upper strings. Okay. Um, last thing is minuet and C. We're going to work on bow hold. So choose a line. Let's try this line. And at the end of the line, you have to ask yourself, how is the bow hold? Okay. 